Today I'm going to show you guys how to tune an E36. Um, so some items to get started and you absolutely have to have these necessary. Um, we'll start with the cable here. Um, so this is going to be your basic um, Badgecom cable. Um, the actual chipset inside you're going to want to look for, and I'll have a link in the description. It's going to be the um, FTDI chip. So search for that on Amazon, eBay. Um, these cables are pretty cheap, usually 20, 30 bucks. Um, some work better than others because, you know, Chinese knockoffs, stuff like that. Um, the other piece you're gonna need is a BMW 20 pin to your regular ODB style. So it's just a converter and out of the box, um, this actually can't write to the ECU. So you have to actually connect internally. It's gonna be pins uh, 14 and 18 on here. Um, I'll have a link in the description for that as well, which pins to actually connect and a little diagram helping you. So all you have to do is unscrew this guy um, and then solder a couple pins together internally and put it back together. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is a battery charger. This is very important to keep 12 volts um, at all times when you're both reading and writing to the ECU. If you have a flash that goes through halfway and stops because your either your laptop dies or the, the car's battery drops in 11, 10 volt range, um, you could possibly brick the ECU. So. Just a little warning on that. This is uh, a must have. Um, make sure your battery is in good shape too, um, because a lot of times these are um, eight amp or less and they can't really keep up with a battery that's not in great shape. Um, and then obviously you're gonna need a laptop. Um, any old Windows 10 laptop will work. Um, Nothing really too special about that. I'll cover, I'll cover the actual software uh, here soon on a screen recording so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so the first step is we're gonna actually connect all the cables and the laptop to the 20 pin connector under the hood. And I'll show you guys that. Okay, so next thing you wanna do is locate the 20 pin connector under the hood. It's gonna be this guy. Uh, there's, there's going to be a cover on it. Um, so then you'd run your con your adapter to the ODB. Then the ODB connector goes to your laptop. And then obviously make sure your um, battery is charging. Um, there's actually a port under the hood on most E36s. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and then you can actually ground it out on your um, shock tower. So that's all good to go. Um, I'll show you the next step. So one thing I want to point out before we get started is uh, this really awesome website. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to this as well. Um, but I'll actually show you um, where to download a lot of these things and how to set them up, um, especially the de definition files. Um, so I believe it's right here. Yeah, so get your definition files, make sure you have 32-bit Java, like I was saying. Um, and you can actually come in here and actually have custom code for the MS-41s. Um, do data log logging, um, help end tunes, uh, flex fuel sensors, which is really awesome. Um, and there's a ton of other stuff here. Um, and I think, yeah, I'll show you uh, the cable, how to enable right access, like, like, like I was saying, uh, with the pins. Um, that's pretty important. Um, so all that information is right here. Um, I just wanted a quick video on how to go through the actual process itself. Once your car is connected, um, you're going to want to open up uh, the Simon's uh, MS41 flash tool. Um, I'll have a link to this in the description as well. Um, it should say cable connected. Um, once it says that, you can go to file, um, 
partial read. And you should see a screen like this. It's actually taking all the data from the ECU right now. Um, a partial uh, read is just going to have the parameters um, of the tune. And then a full backup is going to have your code base and the parameters. So the actual logic that um, is stored in the tables is controlled by that por portion of the ECU. Once that's finished uh, downloading the information from your ECU, um, you're going to actually want to store this file, um, name it something like uh, backup. But now that we have our file backup, um, you always want to back up your files before you make any changes or start writing things to the ECU and you can't um, figure out how to go back. So always save a version uh, of that file if you're going to make a change. So um, there's this cool application called ROM Raider. Um, it's open source. Um, they actually created definition files for BMWs. So instead of looking at a bunch of um, hexadecimal values, um, these definitions will um, actually explain uh, what these parameters are and how the ECU uses them. Um, so those definitions along with ROM Reader you're going to have to download. Um, I'll make sure I have those in the description as well. Um, so once you have that loaded up, uh, you're going to open an image. Um, I have this back up here. So from here, I can actually um, turn on and off emissions devices. Um, I can load in or turn on alpha N. Um, I can change uh, field tables. Um, <clears throat> I can change when Banos engages at what RPM and load. Um, look at knock events. Um, turn on and off actual diagnostic um, codes um, so you can actually turn off uh, certain emissions related or um, other engine codes so it won't throw a check engine light which is kind of nice um, and I also have links to um, the ROM Raider forums where they talk about um, all of these tables in detail and you can do a lot of research and really dive into it so um, what you're going to do here, um, so let's say I want to make a change to the fuel table. Um, say I want to change this to 7. Okay, um, anytime you make a change, it's going to be highlighted in red. Um, and once you're done with that, you can save your changes. Um, you actually want to save it as a new image. Again, you don't want to overwrite your backup. So we'll call this V1. And I'm pretty sure you have to have the file extension dot bin. I'm gonna save that. Okay. And then we're all we're gonna do is come back to the flash tool. Say file partial flash ECU. And it's gonna have me choose a file. So I'm gonna come back here, um, choose this bin one, open that, and then it would actually write to the ECU. I'm obviously not gonna do that at the moment, but just to show you guys how that works. Um, so that's pretty much it. A couple things to keep in mind. Um, ROM Reader, you do need to have um, the 32-bit version of Java um, eight, and I'll have that in the description below um, as well. Um, the application will not run without it, um, and you'll be kind of dead in the water. Other issues: um, sometimes the cable doesn't connect, or the software doesn't read it. And one issue that I found and happens sometimes if you go into Device Manager. find your actual cable so it's going to be listed under COM port um, this guy if it doesn't say COM1 if it says another number you you do have to change that to COM1 so in order to do that 
I'm going to go to properties, porch settings, advanced, and actually change COM port back to one. Sometimes if you change USB ports from when you install the driver, um, it can lead to issues and it may not read. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, I may have more in-depth videos on how to change certain parameters in the ECU in the future, depending on how well this video does. Um, if you liked it, um, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you want to. Um, see you guys on the next one. Thanks.